Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing some white decor pieces that I put in my dining room and I wanted to show you how I did them. Everything that I'm using for this video was purchased from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing we're gonna make is this amazing grace sign. I found this in the stencil section at the Dollar Tree. Then I also picked up two of these rectangle silver trays that they sell at the Dollar Tree. I purchased the Rust-Oleum paint from Walmart, and then I'm also using this burlap ribbon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my two trays outside and I'm going to give them a good coat of white spray paint. Now usually when I'm doing white spray paint, I will do two coats. So I'll put one coat on, let it dry for several hours, depending on how hot it is outside and then I'll come out and give it another coat. If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe below. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the two trays inside and I'm gonna flip them over. And I'm going to be adding burlap pieces here. So I'm just going to cut two pieces of ribbon. I'm not measuring it, just kind of eyeballing it where I want them to sit. Next, I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to put a big glob of glue on both sides and I'm just gonna stick the ribbon on top. And then I'll repeat that same step with the other ribbon. So to add just a little bit more stability, I'm going to add tape to the back of these. You could add duct tape. I had packing tape on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. This step may not be necessary, but I figure it just helps it hold in place a little bit better. Now, I like to hang my signs with a ribbon. So I'm just going to cut off another piece and flip it up so that it makes a nice little hook at the top. And then again, I'll just add it with the glue and put some tape on top. Next, I'm going to add my sign and I'm gonna just kind of twist them to an angle and put them down in the middle as centered as I can get it. Now you can do this with so many different wall stencils. You could add more pieces to this. There's a lot of things you could do with these wall art signs and Dollar Tree has so many right now. But this is how my Amazing Grace sign turned out. And I just hung it on one nail in my dining room. The next thing I'm gonna do is make this floral vase. So I found this vase at the Dollar Tree I'm gonna be spray painting it white. I'm also using a foam piece. And then I found these really pretty long stems that I thought would be perfect and I picked up three of them. And then I'm using these pearl stickers that you can get usually in like the stationary aisle. So I'm just going to do two coats of white spray paint on my vase. Now this spray paint doesn't need to be perfect because I'm actually going to be taking some of it off with my sandpaper. Once my piece was dry, I took it back inside and I'm just going to use the sandpaper to take off paint wherever I want it to come off. This step is optional, but I just think it gives it a little bit more of that rustic look. So I'm just going to take the paint off till I'm happy with it. And you wanna use kind of a fine grit sandpaper to do this. Next, I'm gonna take and add my pearls to my piece. So I'm gonna do three layers of pearls. So I'm literally just sticking these on to this face. Thank you. 
once you get to where they're meeting up, you may have to cut a few pearls to fit it so it fits nicely in there, but it lines up really nice. If you guys are liking these DIYs, please make sure to give my video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps to support my channel. So I'm gonna do my three layers and then next I'm going to add my stems. So I just cut off the bottom of them and I'm gonna put my foam piece at the very bottom so they have something to stick into so they don't just fall over. And then I'm just going to stick them in however I think they look nice. And then I set it on the end of my buffet in the dining room. And I think it turned out so pretty and I love the way it looks. The next thing I'm gonna make is this vase using the mirrors from Dollar Tree. So I bought the square ones and I got a set of five. Next, I'm going to use my E6000 glue, and I also got a bunch of my um, spray paint bottles so that it could help me support them as they're drying. So what I'm doing right now is doing a side piece. So I'm putting the E6000 on the bottom and also on the side, and then I'm gonna stick it on the edge of the bottom piece, and then I'm gonna take my spray paint to hold it up while it's drying. So next I'm gonna do another edge piece. So I'm putting it on the bottom again, and then on the edge, and then I'm going to stick it on the very edge of my piece over there. and then I will just line it up. I'm trying to make them as straight as possible so that they are nice and even. And once I get that in place, I'm going to make sure that I wipe the glue that's on the back side of this piece because I don't want any extra glue sticking out. And then I'll just put another can of spray paint. And then I'm gonna put a couple in the middle so that they don't fall to the middle. And then I'll just continue gluing them on the edges to hold in place. Now this E6000 really does hold in place well and I've had good luck with this vase holding together just fine. Now I let this dry overnight for 24 hours and then after it dries, you can take off all the spray paint bottles or whatever you're using to hold them in place. And then just add any florals to it that you like. I decided since I'm doing white decor to just add some white roses to it. And I just sat them in there and I just think it looks perfect. That's it for my tutorials today. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe.